Here we go again. So, guys, it's been a while since our last episode. Almost so, one month ago. About a month ago, yes. So finally we're back on track, uh, as you can see, and we would love to provide you with a few new updates about our business way. So let's get started! So basically where we start now, um, you know and we mentioned in our previous videos that we launched a franchise uh, back in March and we have a few steps which already led us to uh, the ongoing processes of openings and we're having potential partners who are coming to Vienna visiting us. Um, Ilya, yes. <laughs> yes. where are we opening now? We are about uh, to send our stations to France, first of all, then comes the Finland, a part of that Estonia, so uh, the Free Baltic Scandinavian part of uh, Europe, it's, it's rather booming, that's uh, delight us. And uh, in the end of the day, but last but not least, it's for sure Austria. <laughs> Vienna, yes, we are putting a fifth station here in Vienna. It's going to be also the school, so it's going to be made for students. Uh, we are in the phase of the negotiations and fingers crossed uh, at the end of August we will put one more station here in Vienna. Uh, regarding uh, Scandinavia, well, I do agree that it's booming because uh, interestingly enough, self-service uh, coffee stations uh, really appreciate it in that region. People do understand product very well and we are also looking forward to expand. But also not only in Scandinavia, but rather everywhere, probably everywhere as well. Everywhere, well, we have literally. a lot of ambition. Slightly, we're moving to our second news and this news is about our participation in the Accelerator. So that's the Viennese one, it's called FAB X23. Um, we didn't mention it uh, in YouTube before, it was mentioned only in our Instagram page, uh, just to keep you updated. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are going through the phase of sort of an acceleration, we, were, we won the competition and the uh, border of Jewry decided to take uh, us on board and um, currently we are in the middle. Of our journey so we are meeting a lot of interesting people we are um, start up as, as, as yes we. yes we are building a great uh, networking and definitely we we spread a word about about our coffee startup, station exactly about our coffee station brand exactly. so in september we expect to do the pitch mm -hmm. uh, and uh, see where it will take us Probably we will make even the separate video about well, our journey. We will keep you updated Definitely. in any case, Definitely. by no means. Guys, as you can see, as you have already seen, by the way, that we are like covered with the cups, you know, covers and all... all, all I'll grab one too. After. Exactly, ingredients, a baby. All, all that. So it's, uh, it's, it's not a coincidence or whatever. Uh, it's just because we are moving our stock to the different place, a bit bigger one. So it's a big, bigger storage room. Let's keep it like that. And uh, uh, we are we have ordered around like ten thousand of cups, uh, covers, uh, a lot of new uh, ingredients, both matcha, cacao, coffee beans, etc. Everything. So um, that's also a great news. That the great step further to us. Uh, and also for you. So just to basically give you an idea how it looks like and <laughs> I have a full car <laughs> full of of this and more to come. It's just I think uh, a tiny drop in our ocean <laughs> because we recently ordered a huge batch of uh, another coffee cup so now we need to, to move. The initial and main goal of uh, transferring, relocating our and expansion, and expansion. Uh, exactly relocating our storage room to the different location was firstly to keep our prepared stations here. So like we're summing, we're summing up uh, the the materials, the details of our future stations here, and then 
putting them either in Indiana or any other or, or to different parts delivering of, of them the world. to any other countries. Uh, we yeah. can be more excited because this is something what also motivates us to move forward and uh, to expand. This is a really another good start oh, by, yeah. by expanding the inventory. Exactly. Super excited. That's what we're doing. Before that, we were working with a 7 liter milk fridge by Vitri Frigo and uh, we have inputted uh, stuff from Netherlands. I mean, not that stuff, but uh, rather the, 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 the refrigerators. <laughs> yes. The cooling stuff. The cooling stuff. Also the cool thing cool, to do. Cool cooling stuff. And uh, funny enough, but uh, the producer, like, I would say better. Uh, the official distributor of his brand uh, finally disappeared. <laughs> finally. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Unfortunately, to be safe for uh, us. But... Fortunately for us. Fortunately. Yes, and um, yeah, so that's why actually there was like a, a number of like objective, subjective reasons whatsoever. So finally we found a really good distributor of this brand here in Austria. Here is our main reason uh, to come. So that's our uh, future uh, stable uh, fridge for the fresh milk uh, looks very stylish I would say so here is the mirror front door uh, you can also close it by the key uh, here uh, from from the both sides you can find a special uh, special let's say uh, loch or the, the hole uh, for the tube uh, it, it, that would be the same tube for the fresh milk which comes down uh, from the coffee machine to the uh, refrigerator, which will be basically in the down part of the station. So, uh, that's how it looks from the inside. Uh, the volume of the fridge uh, will be even uh, bigger than we have. So it's 9 liter of fresh milk, potentially you can fill it for, I don't know, how many portions a day, easily 100 plus. So, uh, you better find the proper location and use this refrigerator for the station. Which would give our uh, new potential franchisees the capacity to work longer. Let's keep it like that, because the, the volume of the fridge is uh, a bit bigger than uh, the previous ones. And which is also, let's say, a huge uh, benefit, a huge advantage, because it's not limiting uh, that much uh, the, the capacity of, of the uh, milk container. But most importantly, even speaking uh, supply-wise, it's going to be even more efficient for, for us because exactly, it yeah. took some time to order it from the Netherlands, but now our supplier is really close to Vienna city. It's around 60 kilometers, which takes you and they, really they, short And they time. have a lot of them on stock. Yes, and we will just basically take them and they will come in seconds. So less waiting time and more productivity. You will see them further. So guys, we really hope you enjoyed uh, our updates. We also really missed uh, the vlogging format when it oh, gives yeah. you more oh, yeah. more active uh, active view of what is going around. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for following our journey. And uh, please, in case if you have any questions, we're always here to answer all of them. Please like the video, please subscribe. Uh, and we will be very grateful for that. And share our business journey. <laughs> bye bye. Looking forward. Bye.